guys, welcome back to 25 Sweepies. I thought I would do a little bit of a kind of studio-ish vlog. Not really sure there's going to be much to it, but I want to do these more. So I thought this would be a good place to do one. It's been like probably a month or so, maybe more <laughs> since I've actually done one. But last week I um, posted on Instagram about making a face mask together. So if you guys didn't know, which I probably haven't actually said in a video, I started a Society6 shop where I am selling my art on different mediums, I guess you could say, different products. Right now, I only have face masks and stickers in there because I'm actually working on a full collection that I want to release all together. But in the meantime, I thought it would be a fun idea to kind of release face masks because they're all something that we need but we kind of want them to be fun and since we do have to wear them anytime that we go out I thought it would be fun to design some fun prints and patterns to do that so I released those last Wednesday <laughs> And that went over really well. I'm really excited about it and I'm kind of surprised it went over as well as it did. Anyway, after doing that, I decided, you know, like, why don't we design one together? In the past, I've done videos where I've done like a Instagram decides my nails. I post polls on stories, people respond, and then I do the nails based off of that. So I'm like, let's do this with a face mask because then you guys feel like you're a part of the design process. And it also kind of just, it's teamwork. And I thought it would be fun. So last week I posted different stories on Instagram and those are going to be put up here. Um, I asked you guys like from a list of different ideas I had, mainly fruit ideas, and you guys picked lemons. So I am going to show you guys my doodling process for the lemons. I actually already had lemons done for a different project so I just repurposed those and made it into a smaller pattern so they would have like more on the mask than not because it covers like this much area of your face and instead of like big lemons just here and there I wanted smaller ones and that was also voted on by you guys you also agreed and thought the smaller ones would be better so we did that then I put up this other poll where I showed you like different background color combos and you guys picked number three, I think it was. So that is what is gonna be releasing in the shop. I'm gonna show you some time lapses of the creation process of all of this. And I probably won't talk over it, I don't know. But I think mainly it's just gonna be nice little time lapses and some maybe lo-fi-ish music that you guys can't create too. My arm is getting tired. Um, uh, what else was I gonna say? I also did nails to match. So these kind of match the, the face masks. And by the time you are watching this video, the masks are available on my Society6 shop, which I will link down below if you guys want to purchase one. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and release a white background one because some messaged me saying that they would like a white background one. So I'm gonna list that too.
do let me know if you want one of the other color combos. And like I said, I will go ahead and list that and I'll let you know. I It takes um, 30 minutes to an hour for it to become live once I press the publish button. So once it does actually physically go live, I will message you and let you know so you can get it if you want to. Um, also with Society6, I know I went over this on my Instagram stories but I haven't said any YouTube video yet, so I thought I'll tell you. If you sign up for emails, they do coupons very frequently. Sometimes if you put something in your cart and you don't touch your cart for a while, they'll send you a coupon. But I would also say that for the most part, things are on sale, so that's always nice. Like, since the face masks went live, they've been on sale the whole time, which is cool, and a portion of the proceeds from the masks are being donated to, I believe it is, the World Kitchen that is helping with COVID relief, which I thought was really neat as well. Um, also, if you are a college student and you have a uni days account or want to make a uni days account, you can also get a student discount through Society6, which is cool too. Um, also with the lemons, I went ahead and decided to, um, publish a few little prints. They're mini prints, so they are teeny tiny and they're adorable and make really cute like little space pieces of art. And I don't know about you guys, but I personally love having art kind of everywhere. I have pictures on my desk. I have a beachy themed collage back there. This wall over here has art prints. That wall over there has art prints. I have a massive art print above my bed. And then I have another wall collage back there. So I like art. It, it needs to be everywhere. It makes me happy. Okay, so I wanted to show you. This is a, what are they called? Mini art prints that come up framed in like a little wooden frame. So they're like ready to prop up on a desktop or anything. And I think they're adorable. They're four by four. So approximately the size of this picture frame that I absolutely love. It's perfect for like a desk space. I have this one on my desk space and it's approximately about the same size. So four by four and they're usually on sale. Right now they're doing a 40% off sale and I don't know when this video is going live, but usually they have some sort of sale. And what I like is that you can pick your color. So, oh, there's an example of what it looks like on your desk. And I think that's like really cute and like you can put that anywhere and I really like it and I probably need to order one. Um, so this is the lemon print that was decided on by Instagram. However, this is it with a white background. I do have it available with the teal background as well. But what I want to show you on here is that you can change the color of your frame, which is cool. And this is like an espresso brown, it looks like. Then we have a black. And my personal favorite is the white, although I will say that it really does look nice in kind of this natural wood color, which is kind of cool. Um, while we're here, I just want to show you my shop, actually. So I'm going to go here, do shop, and you can find my shop on Society6 by going and searching for 25 Sweet Peas. It'll come up with the product, and then you can press my name on there. So this is what my shop looks like. You're getting a glare from the window behind me, but hopefully you guys can see. Right now I have about 20 designs in the shop. This one is going away. It's taking time to process. <laughs> Not a real one. You guys just saw this one. Then they have these mini art prints that you can get that just kind of stand. So they're printed on a nice thickness of paper. And then you can buy it with a little stand or without the stand. So with the stand, it makes the whole thing $15. Without the stand, you can just get the cute little four by four size art print for, it's on sale for today for 360, which is a pretty great price. And like I mentioned earlier, if you have this frame, which is actually like a really inexpensive frame from Target, this print would fit in it and it's like 360 and you could get it and have your own cute little art object right there. See, like that's actually a good size in my opinion. And actually, fun fact, this is a picture of my favorite beach ever. This used to be the entrance to it. It was then destroyed by Hurricane Matthew a few years ago. So it doesn't look like this anymore, but I love looking at it. It's so pretty. And the thunder begins. Okay, so back to the shop. Whoa, it got super dark at my window. Okay, this should be interesting. So like I was saying, you can purchase it without the stand or with the sand, 
without the stand right now on sale for 40% off is $360, but normally without it, it's a $6 print, which is actually a really good price for a print. And there is that. And well, like I said, with the stand, it's $15, which today on sale makes it $9, which is pretty good. Ooh, lightning strike within five miles. I'm all over the place, guys. I'm getting alerts on my phone while I'm filming and I'm paying attention. I should be paying attention. Um, I... Here is the Lemon Print face mask. Like I said, I do have a teal version going live that I was talking about earlier, but at the time that I'm filming this, it is not yet live because it takes about 30 minutes. But here is the Lemon Print. So whenever you have the mask on, this part expands, obviously, and you will be able to um, see the full print. But what I wanted to show you also is that these masks, while they're not um, medical grade, or anything like that they're just the kind of the equivalent to what you would make at home fabric wise they do have a pocket for you to put your own filters in which I thought was really nice and helpful and they're machine washable if you go on to the society six website actually they give you all of the information about them and tells you that it's not medical grade it gives you the measurements oops sorry I hit the camera um that it has the pockets for your own filters, machine washable, and everything like that. And it said a portion of all proceeds will be donated to help the COVID-19 recovery efforts. And if you want more information about that, there is more information. Also, it has my little Meet the Artist. It says I joined in 2018, and that is true, but I was a wimp and I never actually published anything until 2020. Um, there's a whole bunch of the other face mask prints. Those have been out for about a week now. And now we're back to the shop. Oh, the squeeze the day sticker that I was telling you guys about. See how adorable that is? It looks a bit more saturated in the camera. It should be lighter in person. Um, but you can change whether you want it transparent or whether you want it white. I would probably pick white just because I like the white rim. But if you want to see it transparent, let's see. It's not showing me, but I can show you a picture. Um, you can also pick a size. So... You can get two inches by two inches, which is definitely going to be a smaller one. So keep this in mind, if you're ever buying a sticker sheet, this is the size of the sticker sheet. So that means the stickers are going to be smaller. So if you're buying a sticker sheet, I would highly suggest buying like a four by four, even the bigger one, depending on how many are on there. But really, I'm not going to publish something that's not going to fit. So just keep that in mind. Um, like for this, I feel like three by three would be a really good size. And currently that's on sale for $3.19, which is pretty sweet. And you can, of course, get as many as you want. Or you could make it transparent. I wish it should. There's a picture of the transparent. So you can see it'll be a bit darker because it's going to, like, adapt to the color that's underneath it. So it's going to kind of play with the color because it is a bit translucent. Anyway, the letters aren't translucent, but the lemon itself has a little bit of that in it. And, um, going back. Like I said, there are more things that are going to go live. Um, like I put in some stationary cards with this print. The teal print should be live soon. And I will try. Oh, there's the card. I put a squeeze the day card because I feel like maybe you need a cute little stationary card to send to a friend to help brighten their day. And I felt like this would be a cute one. This is a three pack of folded cards, by the way, if you're ever wondering, because like you're like, why am I buying one card for that price? You're not. You're getting a set of three cards. At the minimum, you can order bigger quantities if you want. So you could get 10 cards. And I really do kind of want to do a Christmas collection with 10 cards. And I know, like, that'll make it a bit pricey. Actually, it doesn't. Definitely if it has a sale. So, okay. We're definitely going to be thinking Christmas cards. Because that has been one of my, like, ultimate dreams or goals is to design Christmas cards. So we're going to make it happen. Um, I also, like I said, I have all these masks that went live the other day. I went ahead and made this marble active for this cute little carry all pouch because I thought it was really cute and used to, I used to go out to coffee shops, obviously and work remote at least once a week. And I always have one of these sorts of bags with me that has like pens and pencils or like a screen cleaner or something. So I thought it'd be really cute to make this one live in this prank because I feel like this marble is super fun. But if you guys want to see like a squeeze the day one or something, let me know and we can do that. 
Um, you can change the sizes of these as well, which I think is cool. So the smallest one is six by five, which is still a really good size in my opinion. I don't have any like um, comparisons to show you, but six by five is a pretty decent size. Um, that's definitely bigger than this picture frame. Um, and medium is 9.5 by 6, which is again, that's really good. And the large is really big, in my opinion. I mean, that's bigger than a piece of like notebook paper. So there's that. And then you can get a set of three. It doesn't say what size a set of three are actually, so that's interesting. I'm intrigued. I kind of want to know, but it doesn't say. Anyway, um, they're durable, washable, and everything, which is nice. Um... I wish the others would go live while I'm still filming, but they'll be live another day. I'm just super excited about this shop, guys. Like, this is step one to bigger goals that I have in mind, so I'm really excited. Um, if you guys have never shopped Society6 before, I've been a fan of them. I love going to them for inspiration, and they have, like, so many cute art prints, and they're all supporting artists, which I think is also great because, obviously... Me, as the artist, don't, I don't necessarily have the ability in-house to create all of these different products. But because of the website, I actually have the ability to do that, which I think is super fun. I follow her on Instagram. I didn't know she had a Society6. How cool is that? See, this is what I love about it. So yeah, if there is anything on here that you guys have ever seen, like item-wise, maybe it's a shower curtain or it's a pillow or something... Or a print that you've seen me post on my Instagram. Um, let me know what you want to see with it. Like, do you want to see it in a cute little sticker pack? Do you want to see it in a face mask? Do you want to see it in a cutting board? Like, super, super randomest things. Let me know because I would be happy to make them live because I think it's really fun. And the idea of sharing my art with you guys is so exciting. And like I said, it's the start of something bigger for 25 sweet peas, which I really like. Oh, so far, one of the best sellers, actually, are these stickers. They are adorable. They are houseplant stickers that I actually created back in January in a print just for myself. And I really loved it. And my mom's like, you should turn those into stickers because they're adorable. And I'm like, you know what? That is a great idea. So I did, and they're so cute. You get four in a pack. And since this is like, I definitely would suggest like three inches or bigger. And I think even four would be really cute. Um, six by six would definitely be great. It'd be really big. Um, but yeah, there's that pack. And then there's another one, which they all have the same color theme, I would say. But they are. Okay, so that whole part of the video turned to be much longer than I was expecting. I hope you guys don't mind. I thought it was kind of fun to chat through the shop with you guys. And I do realize that it probably went a little pixely because the computer screen on cameras looked kind of weird. Maybe I should have done it in a different setup. We will try to make adjustments for the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing that little peek into the shop and a little bit of the behind the scenes. Um, like I said, I feel like I talk too much in it, but I really enjoy sharing it. And I want this to become a thing and I'm having a lot of fun turning sweet peas, 25 sweet peas into something more than just a YouTube channel or more than just a blog, more than just an Instagram. And being able to share my art with you guys is so much fun. And I think that is it because I don't want this video to drag on forever. But I hope you enjoyed it. I have enjoyed making it. It's been a nice reprieve from other stuff in life. And now the storms are beginning. It's starting to get dark. I just got a lightning alert. So I'm probably gonna, you know, get back off from the technology for a little bit. But thank you for watching and